I'm Anil Kumar and here is the uh, answer to one of the most popular questions on second derivative which I've received from my subscribers and that is what is second derivative test okay so let's look into what is second derivative test uh, well it is something like this if we are given the first derivative f of x equals to 0 we know there could be three conditions the conditions could be that we may have a maximum we may have a minimum or neither so whenever the first derivative is zero these three conditions are possible second derivative actually confirms what it is so so basically second derivative confirms result so that is second derivative test do you get my point uh, so let's take an example uh, let's take an example so let's take a function f of x equals to let's say x cube minus x so we'll have everything here it's a simple example uh, first derivative first derivative will be let me make it 1 over 3 to avoid fractions okay so that becomes our function 1 over 3 x cube minus x so if I do the derivative I get 1 over 3 times 3x square and that's the reason I put it minus 1 and that gives you uh, x square minus 1 correct now what we notice here is that x square minus 1 could be written as x plus 1 times x minus 1 so the first derivative is actually 0 at x equals to plus 1 and minus 1 correct I wrote both there now we need to figure out whether we have a maximum or a minimum at this point correct whether we have a maximum or a minimum at this point how do we confirm that so easy ways to find the second derivative first derivative is x square minus 1 correct so we'll do the derivative of this derivative of x square minus 1 is 2x right x square minus 1 is 2x now we have two critical numbers to work with so our critical numbers are uh, this is a very simple example uh, is when this is 0 and these numbers are at plus 1 and at minus 1 correct so what we do here is we test it out with the second derivative so if I write second derivative at 1 I get a value 2x and if I find the value at minus 1 I get minus 2 is it okay so for minus 1 negative value for plus 1 positive value positive second derivative means the graph is going to be concave up so in this portion the graph is going to be concave up negative means concave down so you can clearly see that when the second derivative is concave up what do you expect here you expect a minimum and when it is concave down you expect maximum do you see that so on analysis we figure out that if first derivative is zero maximum will occur when the second derivative is less than zero right so when second derivative at that point at the critical point is less than zero then the graph will be kind of like this and you expect a maximum if the second derivative is greater than zero that means positive then the graph will be this and you get a minimum so that is a test you should get second derivative as greater than zero or less than zero right either else if it is if the second derivative is equal to zero not sure so you cannot confirm you may have to do 
some other tests at times but you cannot conclude whether it is maximum or minimum correct so that is what the second derivative test is so you have to combine the information from the first derivative critical numbers right that gives you the critical numbers so you can have maximum or minimum at a critical number depending on the value of second derivative as you have seen here if the second derivative is positive we do have a minimum and if it is negative we have a maximum so at one so the value of the function will be at one we have maximum i mean minimum and at at minus one will have the maximum correct so it's kind of the graph will be of this function will be kind of like this so i'm not making a scale here but this is just to show you that at minus one it will have a maximum this is corresponding to minus one value and that corresponds to the plus one value correct of course you can substitute there and you'll you can find the value <clears throat> so if i substitute uh, positive one here then we have one over three minus one which is minus two over three correct and if i substitute minus one here then that makes this positive so it would be plus two over three so that is how using second derivative we could confirm whether a critical number be representing a maximum or a minimum so that is what we understand by second derivative test i hope that is clear thanks for watching let me just bifurcate this a bit so that now it's absolutely clear i hope that helps thanks for watching